Hi, I'm Scorpion16, and I'm not here with you with a normal, you know, funny video today. Well, I said normal, I don't really think that's accurate, because none of my videos are what you call normal. Um, I'm here with you, for you, with a message. A few days ago, a serial killer was pronounced to be on the loose in my neighborhood. That's right, a serial killer. And, <clears throat> it's just, I don't know what to feel right now, because... No, it's been a few days, I'm kind of uncertain, I'm sitting, I'm sleeping with my eyes open, um, well that's not possible, but uh, I'll try it one day. Uh, I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff, trying to, I'm locking all my doors, I'm locking all my windows, boarding all, I'm going to board all my windows if it's necessary, if the guy's, you know, that close to me, I will. Uh, I've been setting my burglar alarm, I've been locking my keys in my lockbox, I've been doing everything I need to, and I'm still, you know, I can't help but feel worried, because sometimes you feel like you can't trust equipment. But back to the serial killer thing, I talked to police about it, and through negotiations I was able to actually gain two photos of, uh, one, one is forensics photos of the crime scene, and the other is forensics photos of the crime scene. And, uh, I'm going to show you these two photos and show you what we're dealing with where I live. Now... I'm only going to warn you right now, it's okay to shut this video off now, no one's making you watch it, unless the serial killer is at your house, in which case you're on your own, but I'm warning you right now, these, uh, all joking aside, these vid these photos are real, and they're very, sc they, they are very disturbing to me, and I'm pretty sure to anyone else that sees them, so I'm going to give you five seconds right now to just shut this video off, and you can be on your merry way, you'll sleep a good sleep tonight. On the count of five, I'm going to cut and switch to those photos. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it was terrible. There was milk everywhere. It's unbelievable that someone could do something this unspeakable. Here you can see the uh, actual murder weapon. You can see the exhibit, uh, the evidence sign number one and this is the actual crime scene on the count of three I will move on to crime scene number two one two three what kind of sick twisted person would do such a thing the police are currently uh, have a suspect he is the Cocoa Puffs bird but he has not been available for comments here you can actually see a slash wound. Uh, this was post-mortem, meaning it was before death. This stab wound was what uh, killed the cereal. And <clears throat> I guess that's really it, but it was gruesome. I mean, you could tell that he must have done, he must have put up some sort of fight. Because there's uh, cinnamon toast crunch everywhere. But it must have been painful. As I mentioned before, the Cocoa Puffs bird is highly likely to be one of the suspects of being the serial killer. He is about, he is probably maybe about one foot and is known to be dangerous and cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Please, call the Department of Public Safety if needed, call the SWAT team, call the police, I don't care. Your call can be treated as anonymous.